What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Appreciate it. Shout out to the people that sent this to me. I had some subscribers send this to me. I want to talk about this loser by the name of Matt Barnes. You know, I got sent a lot of receipts about Matt Barnes, about Anansa, uh, as far as their treatment, David Patterson and his lady. I got sent this months ago. And I never really made a video going in depth on it, but I was waiting because I know Matt Barnes. He's a screw up. He's a screw up. He's a loser. And, you know, when he got destroyed by Kwame Brown, it really exposed a lot of different things about his personality. He, he's fake positive. He's not a good person. He's a, you know, fake tough guy. And the fact that he would spit on another man just shows you that the type of guy he is, the type of guy he is, he is a, a he's a, he's a vindictive, whiny, weird beta male. And Anansa so obsessed with this guy that she's willing to put her children in an environment with a guy that doesn't even want them around his children. Because that's the type of guy Matt Barnes is. So when I see a story that he spit on David Patterson, I say, yeah, that's Matt Barnes. I, I never doubted for a second. Now, him, now he, him and Anasa went and got a restraining order on David. I don't know why. Because I don't think David was the aggressor. I, I would not be surprised if David tried to talk to Matt Barnes and Matt Barnes you know being the beta that he is got in his feelings because of the legal back and forth that's been going on because David doesn't want his children around Matt Barnes because of how the way Matt Barnes disrespects that man's children Matt Barnes probably acted a certain way and I think it escalated a bit but that doesn't give you the right to spit on somebody. And that's the type of person Matt Barnes is. A restraining order is not going to change the fact that we got you on video spitting on another man, a black man. Since you claim to love and respect black people so much, Matt Barnes, why are you spitting on another black man? You are a despicable, disgraceful human being. And filing a restraining order is not going to stop people from viewing a video of you being a disgusting human being. You and your your delusional, naive fi uh, fiance, Anansa, who's so obsessed with you that she's willing to put her children around you and away from their real father who actually cares about them because you don't. And that's why women like Anansa get as much criticism as they do because they're too busy trying to chase a man and put their children in harm's way. Put their children around men that don't even want to be around them. But that's the type of heifers you have in society like Anansa Sims. And I want y'all to understand something. You see, this is Matt Barnes. A lot of people want to believe in this image that he's been able to carve out for himself. This is the same guy that drove to go and fight another man that was screwing his wife and left no scratches on him okay how are you gonna fight somebody and you not leave one scratch you want to look tough for your ex you want to look tough for a nonsa you are a despicable human being and nothing you do matt barnes is ever going to change this you will not be able to get out of this you can try to file as many restraining orders as you want you cannot you cannot run away from the fact that you try when you try you spit on another man because you don't like him and 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 the way that you act towards david is probably how you act towards his children which is why he doesn't want his children around you and i and i'm telling y'all right now if i'm david i pursue full custody and i use this as a, mean to, a means to do it. You can go and try to file as many restraining orders as you want, Matt. But we got you on video, you loser. We got you on video spitting 
on this man. This is the disgusting behavior of a guy that to me has always been an, an underachiever. He was an underachiever in the NBA. He was an underachiever as a, as a husband and he's an underachiever as a stepfather and he doesn't know how to conflict resolute with anybody. So let's get into this article here. Oh, we got a couple different ones. Got a couple different ones, but let's get into this one from TMZ. As you can see, that's the video there. I'm not gonna play that video. What a just what a disgrace of a human being. Matt Barnes spit on his fiance's ex during a heated altercation at the Cowboys versus 49ers game. On Sunday, video obtained by TMZ Sports shows, uh, but the former NBA champ claims the man started it all, threatening him and shoving him. I don't believe that. I, I don't believe David did that. You're going to have to prove that, moron, and you're not going to be able to do it. The incident happened at around 3.40 p.m. just before the playoff contest began at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. When Barnes encountered his, fian form uh, his fia uh, fiance's former husband, David Patterson, in a concourse at the venue. In the footage, you can see Barnes sprayed the man with spit before he later got in the guy's face. The clip shows the two exchange words and got in a bit of a wrestling match before, thankfully, they were separated and walked off in different directions. So, Matt, you talk all this tough shit, but why didn't you throw hands? You want to spit because you're a coward. You're a coward. You didn't throw not one hand. You spit it on a the guy, then you try to get back in to, to fight him again. You're a fake tough guy. You're a loser. <sighs> According to an application for a temporary civil restraining order filed by Barnes in L.A. County Court two days after the incident, the NBA star alleges Patterson Jr. was the aggressor in the situation. The court documents Barnes says Patterson, hunt, Patterson Jr. Hunted, <laughs> hunted me down and aggressively confronted me. He said the 37-year-old yelled profanities and threats at him, called him names, and incited the crowd around them into a frenzy by yelling out my full name repeatedly. Um, well, you're going to have to have witnesses. I mean, you, he doesn't have to, but, I mean, there's going to have to be people there that say that that's what happened. But even still, that don't give you the right to spit on somebody. Barnes added that Patterson Jr. eventually shoved me and I was forced to push him off me. He continued, I did not want the altercation to physically escalate further. Now the frustration with him seeking me out and his unrelenting, repent, repeated harassment, I spit in his direction to discuss. <laughs> oh boy, come on, Matt. Nobody makes you, you drove how many miles to go fight your ex's, your ex-wife's new guy? How many miles did you drive to go fight that guy? Cops tell us they were called to the scene to investigate an allegation of battery where they say the alleged victim ID'd 42-year-old Barnes as the suspect. They said an investigation to the case remains ongoing. As for Barnes' requests for a TRO, he says Patterson Jr. Has been terrorizing him for months. Believe the man is jealous of my relationship with his ex-wife. He, he, that man done moved on. He don't want a nonsense. Okay? He doesn't want her. All right? He said at one point in 2022, Patterson Jr. threatened to shoot him with his gun. He is asking the court to restrict Patterson Jr. from coming within 100 yards of him. Barnes, who played three seasons in the Bay Area for the Golden State Warriors in his NBA career, appeared to go on with his Sunday night without further incident, seeming to be in great spirits after he watched the game from the sweet seats. In fact, Barnes sounded pleased with the 1912 Niners victory outcome, apparently winning a bet with Dallas fan who had a spot in the box. Man, this guy is such a narcissistic loose cannon. And I just I hope David takes it legally as well. Maybe sue the guy because again I I was sent a lot of things about the goings on between David 
and Matt. That's why I wasn't surprised they got into it. You know, David doesn't want this guy around his children because this man mistreats his children. Anansa is so in love with this guy that she puts her children around this guy to be mistreated. If David really wanted to beat Matt Barnes, he could have. David probably, if David wanted to, he could have whooped Matt Barnes' ass. Matt Barnes is not tough. He acts like he is, but he isn't. He said that David sought him out. David probably, if he sought him out, he wanted to talk to him. I don't think David went, Dave, I don't think David went to that game with the intentions on fighting this moron. But, but, but again, because he knows he's guilty of everything that he's been accused of in regards to that man's children. That's why Matt Barnes was defensive because he knows he doesn't like that man's children and He's only with a nonsense because he doesn't want to pay a nonsense child support. He's already been paying it to one woman. He don't have to pay it to another. And a nonsense, again, she's so dumb and she's so naive that she's willing to put her kids in that type of situation. Mother of the year, right? You, you women, you, you, you greedy, naive, athlete chasing heifers or whoever you're chasing. You have children and you put them in situations where the stepfather don't even want them. But you don't care as long as you're with the man that you want to be with. You're just as disgusting as he is. And you're not a good mother. And and I, and again, David has every right to be upset if his children are being mistreated by the guy that you chose. A guy who's known to have a temper. A guy who is known to get violent. And, and you have your children around this guy that, again, doesn't even want your children there around his children. David has every right to be upset. That man doesn't want you, Anansa. He's moved on to a white woman. <laughs> you know? Uh, this is this is crazy. And, and again, I hope that David is a able to to get primary custody of his children. And he's able to show courts that this guy, Matt Barnes is a weed head who's mentally unstable and poses a threat to your kids. Cause the guy does not want your kids with him. He's only tolerating them because of a nonsense. And he's out here spitting on other black men. And you claim that you, you love and support black men or black people. But you're out here spitting on a black man. That's not a good look, moron. Well, let me stay in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.